Greetings everyone, welcome to the Nerds Course. Today I'd just like to talk about my personal thoughts on Star Wars The Force Awakens. A quick note before we start, this video will contain spoilers for some of the plot points in the film, so if you haven't watched it yet, go out and see it, and then come back to this video. The video won't be going anywhere, so it'll be here when you get back. Now, let's begin. Yesterday I went to go see The Force Awakens with my family, and I have to admit, I really enjoyed it, though there were a few things in the film I didn't like, or so much as didn't like just weren't as good as I thought they would be. So I think the best one to start with is how the story was fairly similar to episode 4, as quite a few people have noted this, that it feels more like kind of a, a remake than an actual sequel, but I didn't feel it, I didn't feel like it was that much of a remake, I did feel like it was a sequel, but I would have preferred for them to focus a bit more on the backstory, as the scrolling text at the beginning talks about how Luke was training a new generation of Jedi, but then they were slaughtered, presumably by Kylo Ren, and then he went into hiding away from his family and friends. And I would have preferred them to talk more about that and kind of go into the actual training of the new generation of Jedi instead of focus more on the planetary destructional mass weapon. I think it was called Starkiller, I'm not too sure, but I think if they focus less on that and then focus more on the actual story, story of the new generation and Luke and why he went into hiding and going further into detail, I think that would have uh, made a better kind of story for the film, but they're probably going to go over that in episode 8 and 9, so let's hope they do. The casting for, pardon me, the casting for uh, Finn and Ray, I really like them, they are really good actors and actresses and I thought they actually fitted their character quite well. I think the uh, woman who played Ray was really good. Um, she kind of, I think she kind of, she got the character spot on. And Finn, I, I like his character and I like the actor who plays him. I can't remember any of them by name, but I can remember their characters. And I was really kind of intrigued by the opening to the film where they go into a, a trooper who can't take that kind of... Uh, dark side and, and who can't kill innocents and and who is just not that kind of person and I was very interested by that I can't put my finger on exactly why and I can't explain it in words but I think it's interesting they go from instead of focusing the film on people who have always been on the light side of the force and have, and have always been good and never been evil though I'm probably wrong with that there's probably been other bits but focusing on characters who always started as the good person but instead start as someone who is part of the Empire wanting to get out and it was interesting how he wasn't someone who wanted to get out of the Empire and go join the rebels and, and go fight the dark side he was just someone who wanted to get away from it but his his goals and the rebellion kind of mixed in and got in, intertwined and then he kind of ended up joining the rebellion I think he did join the rebellion properly. I I can't remember. I wish I could watch it again. I might actually go see it again. It's that good to me personally. Anyway, you might think different, but I I like the beginning bit. Um, I think Ray. I think Ray's beginning was quite interesting. Going into the uh, crashed. I uh, can't remember what the name of the ship is. Like the crashed kind of massive carrier ship. I think that's pretty cool. As she went scavenging for scraps and that kind of thing. Um, any other major thoughts to talk about? Uh, Han Solo, uh, Harrison Ford, I think he kept his role really well. I did get the feeling he didn't want to be in it that much, as I think the major reason he died in this episode was that he didn't want to be in the next two. You can kind of tell, as he is getting old, I think he's in his 70s now, but he is definitely getting old. And you could tell by in some of the scenes where he's running, he looks like he's struggling a bit. As you know, you're not as mobile as you were younger when you were about 70. Well, you never know, you could be a very, very agile 70 year old, but I don't think Harrison Ford is that, is that agile. But he still played his character very well. He also, he hasn't, uh, he hasn't, oh, right, sorry, I've lost my words. He obviously hasn't lost his kind of Han Solo character over the years. And. I think all of the major um, actors and actresses that came back for their character's roles uh, were really good, though some of them some of them were better than others, but I can't 
remember most of the things I wanted to talk about. I'm, I'm kind of like going back in my thought track trying to remember all of the key things that I wanted to talk about. Like while I was watching, I was like, oh, I've got to talk about this in a video. But uh, one thing, I don't like, I like Kylo Ren, but I don't like his kind of, not yet anyway, or some parts of him, I don't like his kind of like pure character. So when he takes off his mask to Rey, I kind of laughed really because he didn't look like a Sith at all. He took off his mask and he's got pretty little locks and stuff. I'm just like, yep, Sif right there. But if he if he kept his mask on, see, it kind of got rid of the purpose of the mask if he could just so easily take it off and he's just like, hey, normal dude. Or is if just kind of switch roles. If Darth Vader did that, where he took his mask off and halfway through the film and you saw that oh he had a disfigured face it probably would have worked better for him since he looked like a damaged sith but it probably still would have got rid of the the awesome effect of his mask it would have been like everyone remembers the face but not the mask and the mask is kind of like a a, a crucial character point for him but i think if they kept the mask on longer for kylo ren i think it would have been better i saw as i said major spoiler coming i saw uh, Han Solo's death coming quite fast. I don't think they were trying to hide it when it got to the point when he was going to die. And I did pick up the kind of um, s uh, the kind of script when they were talking when Kylo Ren was like, um, oh, "I need to do this, but I'm not strong enough. Um, I need this to be I I need this to be free." And then Han's like, "I'll do whatever it takes." And then and then he's like, "Will you help me?" And he's like, "Of course." And then Kylo Ren kills him. I knew that he was thinking that Kylo Ren was asking Han to let him kill him because being tempted by the light side was too painful and it's either Han got tricked or Han Solo really was so dedicated to his son that he would sacrifice himself just to help his son be free of pain and even if it did mean he was fully joined to the dark side since he'd finally killed his father but otherwise I did like Kylo Ren I liked his lightsaber that was pretty cool I did like the way that he had the extensions on it, it was really cool. Um, I definitely use that lightsaber more than any other lightsaber. I don't know, it just looks cool. Like I've always liked red lightsabers, I've always been someone who roots for the Sith. The Sith have more of a, a really gripping backstory, and more than the Jedi at least. Well, I've always kind of like like the evil side of, of, of all these films and stuff, because it's just it's more more gripping for me. But I liked his lightsaber. I personally half liked his character, half didn't. I think if they did a few things differently, they would have uh, they would have been um, a lot a bit better. But I think in episode eight they are probably going to add more. But uh, another spoiler coming when Rey and Kylo Ren have their their kind of like duel. I really enjoyed that. That was that was gripping. How she was jumping around the environment, he was chasing after her. Now. There are so many theories about all of the all of the plot points and all that. Personally, I think Rey is Luke's daughter, and Kylo Ren and Rey are brother and sister. That doesn't make any sense. There's, that's like two separate kind of thoughts and theories. Like they kind of seem. I think they're gonna follow along the premise of four, five, and six for seven, eight, and nine. So I think by the end of episode nine. Uh, Ren and Rey are going to have their face off and either Ren's going to see uh, the light and is going to kill um, I can't remember Supreme Leader, I'm just going to call him Supreme Leader I think it's Snoke, I think Snoke was his name but I'm just going to call him Su Supreme Leader just so I can remember who it is but I think Re uh, Ren's going to end up killing Supreme Leader and then he's going to avenge himself and that kind of thing. I hope they don't follow um, 5 and 6 so closely that everyone is now going to think Right, so we know the storyline, it's just what are they going to put in between it. We want, like, completely different storylines, and... But... I liked, um... I liked the, the the environments. The environments look good when, when Ray's driving back to, like, the scavenging kind of... Um... Oh, what's the word? Outpost. And she goes past, like, the, the uh, uh... Crashed ships and the X-Wings and the ATSTs, Or is it just the AT-ATs? The AT-ATs crashed and sitting by him. I like the environments. They did look cool. But the music? I like the music. John Williams did a great score for this film. 
I, I was actually listening to the music before I went to go see it because I feel a channel called like uh, Greatest Classical Thought, uh, greatest, greatest Classical Music was uploading the score to it, and I was having to listen to it. and I was like, I can kind of get where they're going, but my phone just went off. I can kind of get the uh, the flow of it, and I'm looking forward to. It. I did like kind of like the 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 changes they've done to the original score of the of the uh, of the original Star Wars films. Like they kind of changed it and added to it, but. I liked it. Uh, I kind of wish Luke was in it more because I like, like Harrison Ford is a really cool actor and he's a really cool guy, and I really like wish he was in more of the film. Like maybe if they did actually follow along the plot point I was talking about earlier, instead of just going on about this planetary destruction weapon, they went more onto Luke training the new generation of Jedi. I think that would have been good for both. Um, Luke's character and just the interest of the film but those are just my opinions I'm trying to remember other things to talk about but I can't so I'm just gonna win this episode here or this episode I'm just gonna win the video here thank you all for watching if you like this leave a like subscribe for more nerdy content and actually comment what you think would make the film better or just your th your thoughts and opinions on the film or maybe your theories on on the family relations and all of that in the film just just Star Wars is turning more into the Jeremy Kyle sci-fi edition. But tell me your thoughts in the comments, and I will see all of you in the next video. Farewell.